So in a minute, you should sit flashing at the top your recording, let everyone know that they're being recorded. And as I said, the benefit of that is that not all of you are there. And so it would be nice for those who are missing it. And what's, what will happen is the recording will automatically come up on Teams on your post page. So that bit where you're all just saying hi, if you just give it a few meetings, once a few minutes rather, once this meeting is over, this lesson is over, it takes a while for it to process it, you'll see that the recording of, of everything will just come up that you can just play there. And obviously, if I go a bit quick at times, you know, don't stress about it. You can just go back and play the video again later. OK, uh, the other thing I'm doing, I'm just experimenting with it at the moment, um, provided that no one can be seen. I'm also uploading these videos onto YouTube because it may be that some of you find it easier to access YouTube than Teams. I'm, I'm not sure. So that's something else I'm just trialing at the moment. OK, so I'm going to go split screen in a second. It does take a while, so bear with me. <coughs> so I'm still here. I'm just trying to get the split screen up. Yeah, there we go. So it might take you a few seconds to come through, but hopefully you are going to see that familiar schedule where I'm ex where we, we're explaining the sort of the seven revision lessons that we're doing. Um, I mean, I'm sure you've assumed it. I'm, I'm not in any rush for us to do the test. Um, we do, we're really nicely up to date with the scheme of work. We're, you know, several weeks ahead of where we were last year. So I just think, um, you know, we'll do the test. Um, I'll send a test through to you. Again, it's no big deal. I mean, it's um, just something you can do at your leisure at home, but it will just give you the confidence that you've sort of understood everything we've done this term. All right, so that is um, our, um, our revision schedule. And we're now on to revision five. So we're just going to be revising uh, plotting straight line graphs. So I'm going to be using the same slides that we used in the lesson. OK, so it's just for us just to remember what was going on. So obviously, as this is all sort of on graph paper type stuff, you're not going to be able to do this accurately at the moment in the time available. So all I suggest you do is just do a quick sketch of these. So my, if I'm asking you to draw a particular line, don't worry about getting it accurate. Just picture, visualise where you think the line should be and just do it roughly on a piece of paper. If you want to go back and do it all neatly afterwards, that would be lovely. And as always, that would be great if any neat work that you've done, you're getting used to uploading that onto your team's uh, class notebook page. And I suggest you file it under classwork. OK, so whereas before you were sending it through to me out by email, I think going forward, if you can get it into your class notebook page, uh, the real benefit is that is I can go and tick it and put some smiley faces on it. OK, so. This is the lesson we're revising It's the lesson we did back on Wednesday, the 11th of March, so not that long ago, about three weeks ago. And we were really just trying to understand that whenever we see one of these y equals um, uh, equations, OK, well, all it is, it's a it's an instruction that if we follow, we will get a whole bunch of points. And when you join those points together, you get a straight line. OK, so these are all instructions which generate a set of points. And because there's lots and lots of points, they will basically touch each other and they form a straight line. So what I want us you to do, first of all, is try and think back to how we went and plotted the graph y equals 2. So basically, what we're being told there is that every y coordinate has to be 2. Your choice about the x coordinates, but the y coordinates have to be 2. <laughs> Sorry, I was just detaching my keyboard because I have to write on the screen. So what we are saying here, okay, so we're plotting the graph y equals 2. So just think about coordinates. We've got an x coordinate and a y coordinate, and it's the y coordinates that have to be 2. Okay. So the y coordinate has to be 2. That's the instruction. 
make your y coordinates too. Your the x coordinate is your choice. So why don't we go 0, 1, and 2, for example? There we are, there's three points. Okay, so go and plot those points. So zero along the corridor, two up the stairs, one along the corridor, two up the stairs, two along the corridor, two up the stairs. We can see the trend. Our straight line is going to be horizontally through there. Excuse me, not using the ruler. Okay, so that is our line y equals two. Now I'm going to go through some of these easier ones at the beginning quite quickly so we can slow down and spend a bit more time on the trickier ones. Can you hear my wife singing in the background? I think she's a good singer, she isn't. Right, okay, so we're now going to plot the graph x equals 3. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds or so just to gather your thoughts on this and then we will go through it. So I'm just going to have a sip of my tea. OK, so the instruction here is please make all your X coordinates three. So just gather your thoughts. Remember, the first coordinate is always the X coordinate. And we've got to make the X coordinate consistently three. It's easy enough. Three, three and three. We can make up our own Y coordinates on this occasion. It's one of the rare occasions when you can generate, make up your own Y ones. OK, that only happens when you're told what X is. So why don't we go naught, one, and two? And then we just plot those points. So three along the corridor, zero up the stairs. Three along the corridor, one up the stairs. And three along the corridor, two up the stairs. That gives us a trend of the points. We can see where we're going. Get your ruler out. And that's going to be the line x equals three. Now you may remember I mentioned at the time it's so easier to so easy to get these the wrong way around because this line here is called the x-axis. It's very easy just to assume that the x equals three is going to be parallel to the x x-axis, but it isn't. It is perpendicular to the x-axis. Okay, so um, y equals two x. So it's getting slightly trickier. So I want you to go and have a think about this one. And I'm just going to give you a clue. Remember what we said. The x values more often than not are our choice. So just go and take some simple x coordinates of your choice. For example, x equals 0 or x equals 1 or x equals 2. You could take other ones. It's totally up to you. And you've just got to follow that rule. So the y coordinate is going to be double whatever your x coordinate happens to be. OK, y equals 2x means y equals 2 times x. So just take your x coordinates and double it to follow the rule to make your own y coordinates. That will give you three coordinates, for example. I think I think you only really need two to get a straight line, but three for luck, you know, four if you want to be absolutely super safe. OK, why don't we do four on this occasion? So you go and work out what you think the y coordinates are, and then just a really quick sort of sketch of what you think it's probably going to look like. I know that's hard without graph paper, but if you can get the coordinates, you know that you're, um, uh, um, uh, you, you know, if you, if, if you can get the coordinates, you're nine tenths of the way there, aren't you? Okay. So, so y is two lots of x, so we just double our x coordinates. So zero, two, and doubling two we get four, doubling three we get six. So zero, zero, one, two, two, four, and three, six. Just check they're in a straight line. Um, and then just fill in and then get your ruler out and do the straight line. And that is y equals 2x. Okay, 
so moving on to the next one. That was one I just had ready in case the pen didn't work. So a bit more going on here. So see if you can go and generate the coordinates to plot y equals 3x plus 1. So just go and do three or four points, make up your own easy x coordinates, follow the rule to generate the y coordinates, and then plot them. Okay, so X coordinates and a Y coordinates. We make up our own X coordinates, so just go for some simple ones, so 0, 1, 2, and 3, and just follow the rule. So the Y coordinates, what's the rule telling me in this equation? Do three lots of the x coordinates and then you add one to it. So three lots of naught is naught, and then I add one to get one. Starting again, when x is one, three lots of one is three, add on one to get four. When x is two, three lots of two is six, add one to get seven. And then finally, when x is three, three threes are nine and add one to get ten. So that's the key bit. I don't expect you really to have been able to plot it given the time and the fact you don't have graph paper. As I said earlier on, if you want to go back and make this all neat and sort of use your own graph paper and what have you, so be it. But the key bit is if you know that you can generate the coordinates, the, the plotting of the straight line is quite easy. So let's just plot these zero one to so zero along the corridor, one up the stairs one along the corridor, four up the stairs, two along the corridor, seven up the stairs. And I can see, I get my ruler out and I'll just do a nice straight line through that. Okay, trickier one. Okay, so can you uh, go and have a go at this one? Now note, because I am halving the X values, I don't really want to get into fractions because the X coordinates are my choice. I've just gone for the even ones because halving an even number still gives me a whole number. So I'll give you a bit more time to have a look at this one. OK, so let's have a think about these. So we've got a half the X value and then take away three. So half of naught is still naught. Naught take away three is minus three. Halving two, I get one. One take away three is minus two. Halving four, I get two. Two take away three, I get minus one. You can kind of see the pattern, can't you? Halving six, I get three. Three take away three is nothing. So plotting these points, which I appreciate you probably haven't been able to do. Zero minus three, two minus two, four minus one, and six zero. And I can see the trend. They're all looking in a nice straight line. So get your ruler out and join them together. Clearly, if they weren't in a nice straight line, you know you've gone wrong somewhere. Go back and have a look at your coordinates again. Right, another one for you to have a go at, please.
So obviously, if you're watching this later on the video, now would be a good time to pause the video um, to do, just to give you a bit more time. But obviously, if you're listening live, you don't have that luxury. <coughs> Right, about another 10 seconds, because I don't want to make the video too long, otherwise um, it just takes far too long to load up. Okay, so let's start off with X being 1. I could have done X being 0, I don't know why I didn't really. If you had done X being 0, you'd have got a Y coordinate of 1. Right, x being 1, minus 2 times plus 1, so that's the sad times are happy, that's minus 2. So make sure you're okay with that. Now minus 2, and then you add 1. Think about being on a number line. If you're on, there's more. If you're on minus 2, and you add 1 to it, it takes you to minus 1. So, so um, that is minus 1. Now, with the second coordinate, when x is 2, minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. You add 1 to that, you get minus 3. Third one, when uh, x is 3, minus 2 times 3 is minus 6. Minus 6 add 1 is minus 5. And then finally, minus 2 times 4 is minus 8. And add 1, we get minus 7. OK, and then we just pop those points. So one along the corridor, one down the stairs. Two along the corridor, three down the stairs. Three along the corridor, five down the stairs. Four along the corridor, seven down the stairs. Again, they're in a nice straight line. Get your ruler out and join those together. And like they used to say on Blue Peter, I don't know if you know Blue Peter, but here's one I prepared earlier. OK, right. So, um, to finish, I've got a number of ones for you to do here, okay? So, um, what I suggest you do, because I don't want to make this video too long, is wait until the video uploads. And as I said, there's two places to find it. You can either find it um, on Teams, on the posts bit of our page, so our, our mass class page, the post page. So just where you're all saying hi, this will come up in about 10 minutes time as a video. OK, if for some reason you're struggling to get onto Teams or for whatever, I'm also uploading it. But that does take me a bit of time. So it'll be later in the day onto my YouTube channel, Mass by Mr. Withers. So, so if you go onto my YouTube channel, um, I've got all the remote lessons right at the top is the first bit you see when you go onto the channel. And obviously, you just go into the first form one. OK, well, well done, guys. So um, it's going to take me a bit of time to. Um, oh, of course, what I must do, I must put the answers up for the video. So I'll go on to the next slide. So don't peek. Don't look at these answers yet. OK, so um, I don't know if we can see those um, under there. Can we move that? Yes. So those are the answers for that one. So I'm going to leave. So you're going to do those questions um, when the video is uploaded. OK, so take care, guys, and I will speak to you soon.